Fright Night. If you love being scared, this could be the night of your life. Hey guys, Sledge Pepper and welcome to another video in the Dr. Pepper Diner. Today on the menu we have Fright Night, the original 1985 movie directed by Tom Holland. So as always, I'll just start by reading the synopsis from IMDb, which says a teenager discovers that the newcomer in his neighborhood is a vampire. So he turns to an actor in a television horror show for help dealing with the undead. Uh, so yeah, it's a pretty pretty straightforward, simple story, but it's a, an amazing film. It's one of my favorites, definitely my top 10 favorite movies of all time, probably. Uh, I got the VHS and the Blu-ray, so maybe this movie is a little bit uh, too mainstream to put in the Dr. Pepper Diner, because usually I talk about movies that are pretty much forgotten, and this one is, well, a lot of people still talk about it. So why do I love this movie so much? Well, vampires are just amazing creatures uh, to begin with, and the effects are so awesome. This movie has great practical effects, like even on the VHS cover you can already see one, and it, it's amazing, it's pure 80s, and I love me some 80s gore. The soundtrack is also really good. Uh, it's actually it's actually like, uh, I, I, now I'm talking not about the music here in the background on the movie. I mean, that soundtrack is really awesome too. I mean, just the music here when, uh, when he's watching from this window and sees uh, the vampire next door. Uh, you know what scene I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but uh, I'm talking about the music like uh, The Armies of the Night or He's a Good Man in a Bad Time. Uh, those songs are really good too, or Give It Up. All of those songs are actually amazing. The main characters are really likable, as in most 80s horror movies, when something paranormal happens, no one believes him that there are actually vampires next door, uh, <laughs> which is, yeah, well, that's, that's sort of a cliche, but I mean, I get it, because it's, that, I, I probably won't believe my, my friends, they told me uh, there's a neighbor next door, so... <laughs> the vampire next door, Jerry Dandridge, is, is, is really awesome. He's uh, it's a great character. It's probably one of, one of the best, if not the best, vampire ever. Did you see that happen? That, that, that was my Iron Man figure that was on the speaker over there. Oh, shit. Ouch. I think you might have broken a leg here. <laughs> uh, what the hell? That will be fun to rewatch. That's probably uh, <laughs> Jerry Dandridge attacking me <laughs> because I'm talking about him. No, but anyway, he's, he's, he's one of the best, if not the best, vampires ever put to screen. His character is really menacing and uh, charismatic, actually. So my final thoughts on this film. It has a great pace, holds up really well. It, <laughs> I mean, the special effects in this one are better than the 2010 one, so... I mean, that's honestly sad for new cinema, but it's it's a very good compliment for a movie from 1985 compared to a movie from 2010. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, so yeah, see you guys later. See ya. <laughs> You're pissing me off, Roger. It's not